Hey everyone, it's Ella back with vlog number two of this TA term and today I am super excited to get to talk to you guys about tobacco and COVID-19. But first, look at this shirt. The consultants, the TAs and I all got to have a tie-dye night recently and we tie-dyed our summit shirts and I also tie-dyed my Tobacco 21 shirt and we love the way that they came out. And if y'all want to tie-dye your summit shirts from last year, go and do it. It is so important right now to have fun and just do something fun for yourself every day. Which leads me into my next topic is I want to talk to you about managing stress during these difficult times. I know COVID-19 was very unexpected. I mean, I don't know if there was one person in the world who expected it. And it's, it can be very stressful, especially between lockdowns and school. I don't know your situation, but I know that we're all going through about the same things. And so one thing that I like to do is at the end of every night, I take at least 15 minutes to myself to sit down and to journal. Now in my journal, I write about a lot of things. I write about my day. I write about what's stressing me out. But I also make sure to write at least one positive thing about the day. And I think that's really important right now is to look for the positive. I know the world may seem to be falling apart, but there is always positives in every situation. And I also don't get on my phone the first 30 minutes of the morning and 30 minutes before I go to bed. Social media especially can be very toxic and it's important to have a break and I want to start off my day right and I want to go to bed in the right mindset. So I turn off my phone and I don't let myself get on it and it can be very difficult sometimes and sometimes I do break my rule but it's very helpful and I encourage you to try it out. And now I want to talk about a little more tobacco related. Now, not a lot is known about COVID-19. I mean, it's a very new virus. It's been around for less than a year. But what we do know is things about vaping. And what we do know about vaping is that it damages the cells in your lungs. And we also know that it can weaken your immune system. And something really important during this pandemic, in case you do get it, which I hope none of us do, but in case that you do get it, it really, really, really strengthens your chances of beating it if you have a very strong immune system and strong lungs. And vaping can damage your immune system and damage your lungs. So if you want to be as safe as you can be, because we're all young and healthy right now. We need to keep our health and we need to ditch the vape. Or, and if you haven't vaped, don't pick it up right now. Don't pick it up ever, but especially right now is not a good time to pick up this awful habit for your health. And I also wanna talk a little bit about how tobacco and nicotine companies are taking advantage of the pandemic right now. They have first off put out ads to say, stay safe, stay home. And it's a picture of somebody vaping at home, or it's a picture of a vape saying, stay safe, stay home and vape. Now it's very contradicting to put that out there to stay safe because as we know, vaping is anything but safe. And some tobacco companies have even offered free masks with the purchase of their products. Now, there's a lot of places that you can get a mask and I suggest that you do not get a mask from a tobacco company. They're just trying to bribe you to buy their product which is gonna damage your lungs and your immune system and make you more susceptible to the virus and more susceptible to complications due to the virus. Now, I want to end on a little bit of a positive note, 
and so I want to talk about some fun things that I'm doing right now and I was doing when I was online school. Thankfully, I was able to go back to school in person safely. But if you are at home, there's so many things that you can do to keep yourself entertained. And what I found really important was sticking to a routine. So I would have my alarm set for the same time every morning and I would make myself get up. And I know I like to press the snooze button but pressing the snooze button actually makes you more tired. So if you can, try and get up on that first alarm. I promise it is super helpful. And again, just do something fun for yourself every day. I don't care what that is. I don't care if you make yourself coffee, if you make yourself tea, if you eat a popsicle. Do something that makes you happy. Because I promise there is positive in these situations. And until next time, bye!